Yo, it's Will of Very Great Software, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and dislike button, or leaving a comment below telling me how I'm doing, if you like my videos or not, and hit that notification bell so that you can just get notified right when I publish something. So let's get into this. This is going to be a new series that I'm creating for me creating a website for my brand slash YouTube channel. Now I'm going to be going over how I want it to look, um, what technologies I'm using, what kind of frameworks am I going to be using. So let's dive into that. So here, as you can see, I like to use Google Slides. Um, I don't know, it's pretty, it's free, it's easy to use. Uh, so I just came up with like a rough sketch of how I wanted it to look. Um, so I figured, you know, I'd have like the typical nav bar at the top here, um, have a YouTube link. To, or just have like a little YouTube button to my YouTube channel and then um, another button for my projects uh, this would for right now just go to github all my public projects um, and then later on down the road I'll probably add another page uh, of all the projects I'm creating and I was thinking of maybe for like each project that I have created and that one that we've done through YouTube uh, I would have like a step-by-step -step guide in my website so that if you know someone doesn't enjoy actually watching videos they can actually just go on my website and read um, if that helps them a lot better with understanding how to uh, how to create apps and such so yeah and then a third button for courses so yes um, I don't think I've mentioned it yet but looking into making a, a few courses here. I'm getting a few mapped out right now. I haven't really started anything yet, but they're going to be on Udemy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start on Udemy and I'll probably keep them there for a while, but eventually I'm gonna build out my own uh, kind of like course program and put it on my website and then kind of try to uh, get, uh, shift the traffic from Udemy to my personal website. Um, just because that like with Udemy you have to pay I think it's like uh, I don't I can't remember but there's like different pay grade uh, there's there's like different tiers I think one's like 50 and then there's like 80 or there's like I think it's like 40 80 and then something else um, but yeah like you have to pay that every month and then there's also like you only get a certain amount for the type of traffic that gets to your courses so it's it's kind of nice because you know you do get that exposure to um, their organic traffic that they're getting, but the, you're also you know you're not taking home as much money as you could have been making. So yeah, I'll, in the future I'm going to be making my own course program and I'll probably make a video series on that and how to make your own. But yeah, so we're gonna have those three buttons at the top, and then here of course with like any other YouTube channel that's um, kind of doing what I'm doing, there's gonna be like an email list. So uh, yeah, there's just going to be like a checklist I'm going to be creating soon too. I haven't really created this yet. And then you just give your email and then click sign up. And then you'd be getting, you know, emails from me as time goes on. But yeah, and then it would have like a little scrolling feature or like a parallax feature. I'm not really sure. I don't know how static this is going to be yet, but it's going to look something like this. Um... But yeah, so how are we actually going to make this website? So in order for us to stylize everything, to be honest, I'm not really the best web developer. I'm a software engineer. I can do back end and I can do front end. I just, I, I'm not one to actually make things look nice. And I, I try to make things that look nice to me, but when I give them to other people, they're like, this looks kind of, you know, crappy. So, luckily, we have frameworks to do this for us. There is Twitter's Bootstrap CSS framework, but there's also, I think, I think this is Google's uh, framework, if I'm, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, so it says, uh, created and designed by Google, so this is Materialize. Materialize is a, a CSS framework, really good, really great for creating uh, nice looking front ends so I mean if we go to components here and you know they have a bunch of different stuff you can have like badges for tacking onto lists um, you know badges in like a nav bar uh, they have nice looking buttons for us to use a floating button if we really wanted to some really nice looking stuff uh, nav bar looks great and to get like a pagination feel 
um, you know, and just a bunch of other great stuff that we can make a really nice looking UI from. So yeah, I'm gonna be creating a nice looking front end using Materialize. So if you've seen my previous videos or any of my future videos for that matter, I'm not really sure when you're watching this, but you know I like Node.js. I've used it like in all of my web server projects. So I'm gonna be using Node.js to uh, bring out this front end in a web server. And then in order for me to actually bundle this up into my own environment that I would like to deploy, I'm also gonna be using Docker. So Docker is really nice because you can just lay out what you want in your little world and then, yeah, it'll just get deployed however you want it. Docker is really nice because we can choose our own Linux distro and then up install a bunch of different um, libraries, components, things for Linux to use with inside of our Docker container and then deploy that Docker image that we built um, to something like Heroku and just have like a nice containerized environment where we can define our own environment variables, ports, all that kind of stuff. So Docker is really nice for doing that. Otherwise we would have to like go to something like AWS or Google Cloud or Azure and then uh, spring up a, you know, a, a virtual box and then inside of that virtual box SSH and do it and then install a bunch of stuff and then just a bunch of manual things that are just like, basically what it comes down to is just like maintaining your environment and defining what you want inside of it. Docker makes it super easy to do. Otherwise it's just a bunch of SSHing and copying and it's gets way too out of hand when you go that way. So definitely utilize Docker there. And like I already just stated, we're gonna be using Heroku. Um, Heroku is pretty sweet. Um, I'm using it for a personal project of mine that I have right now, and I'm gonna be using it again for my website for a very great software. Uh, it's super easy, you just create a new app, and they have a free tier, but you can also upgrade it if you want to, so you can scale out horizontally or vertically, and yeah, it's super nice, because you can plug it into a, your own Git repo, or you can plug it into Heroku's Git repo, and whenever you do a whenever you uh, do a push to master or any other type of branch, you can trigger an automatic deployment, and you can also do CI/CD stuff. So you can run unit tests, functional tests, end-to-end -end tests before you even actually um, publish your changes to production. So we're going to be utilizing all this stuff. So again. Here's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be pretty simple, um, just like a single page for now. We're gonna be expanding it to multiple pages probably later, and then utilizing Google's materialized CSS framework in order to make it look pretty, and then using Node.js as the web server to actually host the website. Um, putting that all inside of a Docker container image, and Docker image, and then deploying the container to production uh, to containerize our environment. And tell and you know basically tell Heroku what we want, and then deploying it to Heroku f for an actual hosting site. Um, and the other thing is, is I uh, I actually have the domain name registered in AWS, but we're gonna see how to actually uh, link if you have domain names within another environment like GoDaddy or uh, Domain.com. I'm not quite sure what other domain name sites out there are, but um, how to link those two together so that you can just, they can be separate causes of concern and you can put it all into Heroku and it's just super nice and straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know, leave a comment below. Uh, tell me what you would actually like to see maybe. Give me some suggestions, I don't know. So definitely look forward to future videos in this series. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.